Um, so this ham was from day one of the main event here in Barcelona and uh, got a bit out of line, I guess. Uh, this guy limped, he was, it was actually quite a solid table for the tournament, like um, there was only really one sort of big spot maybe. And he limped in, he was limping a lot now, he lost a few hands, he limped in and a uh, uh, guy raised four and a half times the big blind out the small blind. So I like, generally tend to think this guy's got a pretty strong hand. Like normally people just even call here with like even a hand like ace jack, even though they should be isolate raised in any way. I have pocket eights in the small blind, so being that it's an eight at eight, I have to call because I'm going to hit a set, right? And uh, the limper calls as well. And it comes ace, queen, six, two hearts, I have the eight of hearts. And the small blind now checks. And I just felt with a flush draw on board as well, three ways out of position. Uh, this limper was quite, you know, he wasn't one to sort of fold middle pair on the flop or something. So I felt like he, he would bet any kind of good hand, like ace, king, queens. Even a set of aces, I don't think he's going to slow play here. So I was putting him more on kings or jacks, something like that. And I, I have a heart, so, and I have heart, so I went for it. Like, I bet the limper calls and the guy who uh, raced pre folds. So now I'm heads up against the limper. And actually, the limper was kind of short stacked as well. So anyway, I actually got a good turn card, maybe a bit lucky. Uh, turn was a heart, so now I got some outs against pretty much anything, unless somehow he has uh, jack ten of hearts or something. But uh, so yeah, I just shove it in there against him <laughs> for like pot. And I felt like this guy would even fold like a, a weak ace kind of thing, which I think is what he has a lot of the time, or like king queen. And he gave it. He gave it, like, after five seconds I knew it was folding, but it took him a couple of minutes kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, it was a bit out of line. I wasn't really, I was planning on just kind of, you know, calling to try and hit a set, and then the, the situation changed. Especially in the smaller buying uh, tournaments, like, people just instantly give off that they're going to fold after you make a bet. And you, you, like, you almost want to tell them, like, come on, hurry up. Because, but you don't really, if you're bluffing, or you just kind of just let them get on with it. But yeah, it, it's worse when you're not in the hand because obviously you don't, you're not emotionally invested in it. And you're just kind of like, that's what shot clots are for, I guess. Like, but the problem with shot clots, obviously, is, you know, sometimes you need to use time. But these are the times that, you know, that's why shot clots were invented.